And so here are two drills that I really think that you would benefit from, from what we talked about in the analysis. So the first thing we're going to talk about, this is more of a warm up drill. It's very similar to a K. We're just going to really emphasize leading with the elbow and with a little bit more bend to try to increase your whip. We talked about how your arm was very straight as you come down from the 12 o'clock position. So in this drill, what you're going to do is lead with the elbow, feel that happen three times, and then you're going to throw your normal K. So one, two, three, and throw. And here what we're making sure is that our hips are generating the whip, right? So instead of it only being arm, which our arms and shoulders are only so strong, when our hips are very strong, we want to be, or our legs are strong, we want to be able to use them. So as you come down, one, two, all right, perfect. That elbow's leading. And as you throw, really feel at the same time, the hips should be generating the arm speed. They should be slightly going forward. Now, that doesn't mean completely close off. So you'll see here, I don't land with my chest completely forward to the catcher. Yes, it is close, but my hips are kind of at a 45 degree angle. We just want to make sure that the timing is really good and they're in line as you start to whip your arm down. So I would do 15 to 20 of those as a warm up and just really start to emphasize that feeling, what it means to generate your um, arm speed through your hips and getting a lot of bend and a lot of whip. So once you do that, try to translate that same feeling into your pitch. Okay, so your next drill is going to be stop and goes. So this is the first stop and go. So right through there, you're starting at the beginning and then you're pausing mid pitch. So let's back up just a little bit. All right, so we already talked about through here, you wanna emphasize shoulders and hips staying square as long as possible. So still square, so right about there, and then they're gonna to start to open, okay? Make sure that when you land here, your front foot is in a good position. So we want um, at least a 45 degree angle with that front foot. You can even land a little bit more open towards the catcher, towards your pocket, whatever you're throwing to, to make sure that everything's in line. And we also want to make sure that your front leg is landing with a little bit of bend and your heel is up on your back foot. From there, you're going to, it's kind of challenging to stop. So readjust the balance a little bit from there. Still feel yourself lead with the elbow and whip down through the pitch. So this is what it looks like from the side. All right, so loading properly. And from there, chest forward, hips forward. Good, so again, when we land, bent front knee. This gives us a good athletic possession, position to drive from. If we're too stiff on that front leg, then we're already locked out and it's going to be really hard to finish our pitch quickly because we're going to put way too much pressure onto that front leg. So from there, have to stand up a little bit and lead with the elbow to pull forward through the pitch. Nice strong finish. We talked a little bit about um, how you tend to finish with your fingers up or kind of like a hello elbow type thing. So make sure that you're really generating good internal rotation as you finish. So the inner, here's external rotation right there so you can see the shoulder externally rotated and finish and now internally rotated right here so that's the difference that's how our arm naturally slows down we don't want to fight against that so that would be why we don't want to pull up on the pitch all right so with this one I would do 20 of these for each bullpen that you throw this week and then you can also do 10 and 10 alternating a full pitch and the stop and go from full distance to make sure that you're getting those really good movements into your pitch.